yeah hi viewers welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel in this tutorial I'm going to explain you how to create this type of base plate in Tecla structures 2022 version this tutorial is similar to the previous one but the difference is the number of bolts in the base plate and the spacing between the bolts okay let's start open Tecla structures in Indian environment now deactivate this option direct modification now we're going to create views first so click on grid right click on mouse create views along grid lines now type here before grid elevation on grid Control A for select all and Control C for copy and delete and paste here then click on create and OK you can see now views are created now close this window now we're going to create column at here in our example you can see in our PDF example we have column with profile ISMB 5, 550 so now we're going to create this column so click on steel and select this column and zoom and place it here you can see right click on mouse interrupt by default we have column like this now we're going to change this column profile and column height so double click on this column to open the column property window you can see now we have ISMB 400 by default ISMB profile so we're going to change this profile in our example you can see ISMB 550 so we're going to change this profile ISMB 550 so click on here and select this 550 and click on apply ok click on modify to see the result here now I'm going to change the column height also so bottom level you can see in our PDF example I will provide this PDF example in the description below of this video Please download and practice along with this video. So now I'm going to change the height. You can see bottom level 0 and the top level 4000. So scroll it down and under the position, bottom level make it 0 and top level 4000 millimeter. Then click on modify to see the result here. Okay, now coming to the orientation, you can see in our example, in the top level, you can see oh, this web along a direction grid a, a direction and opposite we have one grid so similarly you can see even our example you can go to the top view plan at zero so click on here and select view list and select this plan at zero and click on this arrow to open plan view and close this window and zoom it here you can see now we have elevation this web along a grid and perpendicularly we have one grid similar to this you can see a grid along column web direction so no need to change the rotation if you want to change then double click on this column and we have option here under the position rotation you can change this rotation otherwise you can change the angle also here 40 45 degrees as you required from this option okay now click on window and select this 3d view and zoom it here and use the control and mouse middle button to rotate like this now no need to change this property window at, at here so close this window and now I'm going to place the base plate at the bottom of this column so in our example you can see now we have this type of base plate now I'm going to create this type of base plate so go to application components by using the shortcut control F and you can see this column currently is a transparent view so to get render view use the shortcut control 4 so to get just like solid now enter the base plate type here in search bar base plate so you will get this component base plate 1042 number component to create this type of base plate this component is enough to create so select this component base plate 1042 and you can see in the command bar it asking pick part so select this column and pick position click on here at gradient section point to create base plate you can see base plate created now close this window right click on mouse interrupt now you can see currently this base plate is transparent view to get render view use the shortcut shift to 4 for just like solid like this Use the shortcut Ctrl R and pick the rotation point here and use the Ctrl and mouse middle button to rotate about that point like this. Okay, right click mouse interrupt. Now I'm going to edit this base plate according to 
this PDF example, you can see we have the information here uh, widthwise uh, edge distance and gauge and pitch and uh, the spacings. So I'm going to change the spacings and uh, the thickness and anchor rod size everything from this option. So double click on this base plate to open base plate component property window like this. Now click on this parts tab. Under parts tab, you can change the plate thickness. You can see in our example, we have base plate thickness 16 millimeter. You can see from top of base plate to bottom of base plate thickness is a 16 millimeter. So we need to enter here thickness 16 millimeter. No need to enter width and height here. We're going to enter the edge distance and pitch gauge rear distance in bold steps. So no need to enter here width and thickness. So just enter the thickness only and now here enter the base plate prefix BP and start number one and type here name base plate. Now click on modify to see the result here. So click on modify it. You can see now this base plate thickness should be 16 millimeter. Now I'm going to change the anchor rods here. So click on anchor rod tab and uh, we need to enter the rod profile here. In our example, we have rod profile 20 dia. So click on here, profile catalog and click on here circular section and select this rod and enter here. Rod says 20 millimeter, then click on apply OK. Now we need to enter the nut profile here. So click on here and before strike, type here nut, then click on enter to open this filter now click on this window and click on here plus symbol to open nut profiles here default nut profiles currently our anchor rod size is 20 millimeters so we're going to take here nut m20 and click on apply ok now click on modify to see the result uh, to display the anchor rods here you need to select here base plate width anchor then click on modify to see the result here currently we don't have any a nut profile here to display the nut you need to click on here you can see now first window indicates the nut and second window indicates the washer so click on here and select the nut s yes. and similarly we're going to take washer profile also s yes. then click on modify to see the result here you can see now we have nut and washer profiles wash is by default washer you will get here if you want to enter the size of washer then click on here and default there is no washers in the Indian environment so we're going to take from circular halo section so click on here and select the the CHS profile now outer dia we're going to enter for example 40 millimeter and the thickness we're going to take 80 millimeter 8 8, 8, 8 millimeter indicates the uh, inner dia to outer dia between space so enter here 8 millimeter then click on apply ok now click on modify to see the result here to control the thickness of this washer you can enter here you can see this option this this box indicates the thickness of this washer for example if you want to enter the thickness of the washer for example take uh, uh, four millimeter then click on modify to see the result here you can see now this washer thickness should be four millimeter according to availability of the washer so if you know the information about the washer then you can enter the dimensions of the washer from this box and this box Okay, similarly, you can control the nut thickness also from here. Currently, we are uh, leaving this uh, thickness of this washer by default. Uh, now, coming to this uh, anchor rod uh, profile, click on here. You can see now we have different types of anchor rod profiles at the bottom. So, currently, uh, majorly, we are using this type of anchor, L-band anchor. So, select it and you can control the length of the anchor rod also here from here. Current By default, we have 500. If you want to change, you can change from here. Then, click on modify to see the result. You can see now this anchor rod length should be 500 millimeter from top to bottom. Now coming to the projection from top of base plate to anchor rod the top length distance you can control from here by default we have 50 millimeter if you want to change you can change from here for example let's take 60 millimeter then click on modify to see the result you can see now this projection should be 60 millimeter. Okay now go to the bolt step. In bolts, you can control the number of bolts, how many anchor rods required. Uh, according to our example, you can change uh, number of anchors and spacings from this bolt tab. So click on this bolt tab and click on here and select the uh, anchor rod size here. For example, 20 is the anchor rod size, so you need to take bolt size also 20. 
and tolerance we're going to take three millimeter uh, tolerance indicates the clearance between the anchor rod and hole so for example you can see bolt size is 20 and tolerance is 3 that means the hole size should be 23 millimeter in the base plate so we need to take here 3 or 4 according to your requirement now coming to the spacing number of bolts uh, this indicates the uh, edge distance in the lengthwise you can see this is the column web this is the flange so from the web side is the indicates the website you can see this is the web and this is the base plate so in uh, in the side of web uh, you, you can call it as a length side so in the uh, base plate length side edge distance in our example you can see we have 100 millimeter in the length side edge distance from bolt to edge of this plate so we need to take here 100 millimeter on both side and click on modify to see the result here you can see now the the anchor rod to edge of this base plate should be 100 millimeter now coming to the number of uh, anchor rod rows you can see in the length of length side we have number of rows one two three four we have number of rows in the anchors or four so we need to enter here in the small box four and the spacing come now coming to the spacing uh, you can uh, consider from the uh, left side you can see from bolt to bolt spacing we have 120 first then next 150 next we have 120 so i need to enter in the order wise so enter here first 120 and give the space and enter 150 and give space and 120 and click on modify to see the result you can see now this spacing from edge to first bolt distance should be 100 millimeter from this option and we have four number of anchors so from this option and the spacing from first to this bolt to this bolt distance should be 120 and next 150 next 120 from this option just like this now coming to in the width side uh, spacing uh, you can control from here these these two boxes indicates the edge distance and this is the number of bolts and this is the spacing between the bolts now coming to the edge distance in our example you can see we have 50 millimeter so we need to enter here 50 millimeter on both side and now here we need to enter the number of bolts in the row in this direction you can see one and two uh, when you see through from which side so we need to enter here two and the spacing uh, between the two bolts we have 130 millimeters so we need to enter here 130 millimeter then click on modify to see the result you can see you will get like this okay now click on modify apply okay now click on space right click on most to draw view now go to plan view click on window and select this the planet zero you can see these are the uh, default building symbols click on space right click on most to draw view to uh, remove these building symbols like this okay now i'm going to check the spacings uh, to verify with our PDF example so click on edit and select this measure and select this horizontal distance and pick the first point here and pick the second point and click on here to place the dimension you can see we have 50 millimeter similar we're going to check the remaining dimension this one and spacing between bolt to edge of the plate right click almost interrupt you can see we have 50 130 50 in the width side base plate you can see we have 50 130 50 now coming to in the length side we have 100 120 50 150 and 120 100 we're going to measure those dimensions also so click on measure and select this vertical distance and pick the first point and pick the next point here and place it similarly click on the first point and second point and click on here to place the dimension and do this repeat the same procedure pick the first point and pick the second point and place it here pick the first point and pick the second point and click on here and pick the first point and pick the second point and click on here to place the dimension right click mouse interrupt now I'm going to check this dimension so you can see we have 100 120 150 120 and 100 okay these are the check-in dimensions uh, to remove this check-in dimensions just click on space right click on mouse straight view to remove these dimensions similarly you can remove on plan also on plan and uh, now we're going to check the thickness of this base plate you can see now we have thickness of the base plate is 16 millimeters so we're going to uh, 
elevation view click on window and select 3d now go to the elevation along grid a so click on window and select this view list and select elevation on grid a and click on this arrow to open and close this window and zoom it here now i'm going to check this thickness here so measure and select this vertical distance and zoom it and pick the first point here and pick the second point and click on here to place the dimension right click on mouse interrupt you can see now here thickness 16 millimeter just like this thickness and click on space right click on mouse to draw view to remove this checking dimension now click on window and select this 3d view okay just like this okay that's it about how to create this type of base plate in tecla structures 2022 version if you like this video please like it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel gani sk youtube channel okay thank you